In this video we'll be taking a look at another security camera from Aosu, the Aosu SolarCam D1 Classic. Let's jump in. Alright, let's see what's inside the box. There's a quick start guide, a window sticker and mounting guide sticker, mounting hardware, a USB-C cable, and the security camera. This, unlike some of the other Aosu security cameras I've reviewed, has a solar panel mounted directly on the camera housing, so it doesn't have a separate solar panel which connects to it via cable. This can be good or bad, depending on what your needs are. For example, on the security cameras that Aosu offers which have separate solar panels, the solar panel can be installed a distance away from the camera itself. So the camera can be placed in an area where the sun may not be directly hitting it, and the solar panel can still be mounted somewhere else where it's in vision of the sun. On the D1 Classic, you have to mount the entire unit somewhere that it can get sunlight so it can charge. However, it's still one less piece of hardware to mount or install, so depending on how you look at it, or your requirements, this can be a good thing or not. Moving on, the D1 Classic has a 5 megapixel sensor providing 2K resolution, and has 360 degree PTZ, which stands for Pan Tilt Zoom. Underneath the camera, there's a rubber seal or plug, which can be pulled out revealing a micro SD or memory card slot for onboard storage, and the power and reset buttons. There is also a USB-C port if you need to manually power or charge the camera with a cable. It has a speaker on the back of the camera housing for alarms, two-way audio, and so forth. Installation is simple, just three Phillips screws for mounting, and the overall install time should take less than 5-10 to 10 minutes, depending on where you're mounting it or the tools you're using. Once you have the Aosu app installed, and the camera powered on by pressing the power button and holding it for 7-10 to 10 seconds, you can add the camera on the dashboard by scanning the QR code if it doesn't automatically pick up the camera. You can name the camera if you have multiple cameras, so you can easily differentiate between them, or just leave it at the default name. You can also sign up for cloud storage if you wish. Aside from this Halloween cloud storage sale, Aosu is also having a Halloween event giveaway on their Instagram page, which is open until the 31st of October. I'll place links for that in the description as well. Now in the settings, you can adjust motion detection and enable human tracking, so the camera will move and track a subject when it detects them. You can also adjust sensitivity. In night version, I'm not sure if they meant to say night vision or not, but in night version settings, you can select between black and white night vision, color night vision, or no infrared light. With color night vision, it basically will turn on the spotlights when a subject or motion is detected, providing you color video. Unlike a few other cameras which I've reviewed that have sensors which provide you color night vision without any spotlights, for this camera the spotlight is required and enabled automatically. Again that's comparing $200 plus range of cameras versus this more affordable far less than $80 camera which can be bought for even less with Aosu's coupons and sales. In video audio section, you can enable or disable 2K video as well as adjust the speaker volume. Battery charge can be monitored in battery management and you can switch between power saving or intelligent mode. One records 20 seconds when motion is detected, while the other records 60 seconds. This is also Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant compatible, so you can sync them here in the settings. On the camera dashboard, you can switch between Ultra HD to standard resolution if you want to save on storage. You can select to record what you're viewing by clicking on the camera icon, which will record onto the SD or memory card if you have one installed, or your smartphone storage if you don't have a memory card installed. You can also take screenshots by touching the screenshot icon. Next to that, sound can be enabled or disabled. If you touch where it says generate panorama, the camera will move from one side to the other, taking pictures to generate a panoramic overview. Below that are the controls to manually move the camera around. The illumination button will turn on the spotlight on the camera. You can select the talk button to speak to whoever is by the camera. Next to that you can manually enable the alarm to scare away any intruders. In the more section, 
you can send a preset voice alert, enable or disable tracking, or calibrate the camera. In landscape orientation, you have a larger and more immersive view, and you can bring up the on-screen controls by touching the screen. This camera is full of features, and the PTZ function provides you the flexibility of being able to get multiple angles of view with just a single camera. It's priced just under $80, and with the current sale they have going on, it's even lower at $59.99 on their official website. I'll place links in the description, and I'll see you in the next one.